In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can add a virtual background such as this beautiful beach that I am broadcasting from up next. Hey guys, my name is Jeff. Thanks so much for checking out this video. I'm gonna show you guys here a cool trick on how to spruce up your Zoom meetings by including some virtual backgrounds. And Zoom has some backgrounds that you can use. And I will also show you guys how you can add your own custom backgrounds. You'll want to make sure that you watch till the end of the video because I'm also going to show you guys where you can get some free backgrounds that you can use not only still images but videos as well. So let me show you guys how you can add a virtual background. Now the kicker to this is that as far as my knowledge this only works on a PC or a Mac computer. Um, this is not currently something that you can do on an iPhone or an Android mobile device. Uh, so if you have those, uh, if you have those products and you're trying to do this at the time of this video, which is April 2nd, 2020, that capability is not there. Um, the other kicker is with your Mac or your laptop Windows computer, it has to be powerful enough in order to support adding these virtual images. There's a link that I will provide down in the description below that takes you over to Zoom's support website and that will show you the requirements you need uh, to make this work. Now ultimately if you're still having problems making this work I'll go into some troubleshooting at the end of this video but let's get into what you need to do to add your virtual background. So once you're in a Zoom meeting you're going to want to go down to the bottom of the screen you'll see your mute button, this arrow, this stop video button and then there's another arrow and this arrow here is going to give you some different options, one of which is going to be choose virtual background. And again, if you don't have this option, I will cover some troubleshooting at the end of this video, hopefully to give you that option. But if you go into choose virtual background, this is going to bring up the options here to add a virtual background. And some of these come when I installed Zoom. So we've got our... Uh, Beautiful pictures here of uh, everything from our bridge to grass, even looking at the planet. Um, and that is essentially just by clicking on those images, that's how you're going to add it to your background. There's also a couple of videos that come pre-installed with Zoom. And again, by just clicking these buttons, that is going to add it to my background. If you are brand new to using Zoom and you want to find out more tips on how to start meetings, to host them, invite members, and do cool things like do screen sharing where you can show them PowerPoint presentations, play videos, and more. You'll want to check out the other beginner's guide to Zoom video that I've done, and I will leave a link down in the description below. In addition to that, you probably want to add and customize your own backgrounds, and you can do that by clicking this little plus button right here, which allows you to add an image or video. And if you click on that, you'll see the options here to add image, add video. So let's go through that. Let's add our own custom image. Uh, I actually have a downloaded image here on my computer of some office chairs. So I'm going to highlight that and open that up. And we will see here now that I am sitting in this luxurious uh, spacious office here uh, in the uh, downtown area of city to be named later. But I do want to give you guys some tips here to making things look good with your virtual background. One is you want to have good lighting. Um, you'll notice that I've got kind of light on one side of my face here, but um, that's actually coming in through windows on the side of my room. I would recommend that you don't put, if you're in a room with windows, you don't sit right in front of the windows so that they're behind you. And it's ironic because I'm using a picture here that's showing windows behind me. But essentially you want the light on your face. So uh, having some sort of light coming into the room in front of you is going to make you appear better in these videos uh, with this virtual background. The other thing is I've actually raised the camera up on my laptop so that it is pretty much at eye level. Uh, if you're using your laptop or desktop computer and it's sitting on your desk, your camera's probably a little bit lower and you're going to get an effect that's going to be, you know, something more like this. Um, again, raising that up, I'm actually using a laptop stand 
uh, and that's what's allowing me to get the computer at eye level and I'll put a link to a, a laptop stand that you can use down below so let's show you an example here of adding your own custom background again I'm gonna go into this arrow and go to choose virtual background and then I'll go to the plus here and add video and I've actually got some videos here of a waterfall so we will add uh, that video and you'll see that pops up and I can click it it actually automatically selected it but now we are in the rainforest somewhere and uh, I am just kind of basking in the uh, luxuriousness here of being out uh, in the uh, rainforest there are a couple of other options that you can do with adding your videos and images so if we go down to this arrow once again and we go to choose virtual background you'll notice at the bottom of the screen it gives you two options to check mark first one is I have a green screen uh, which I'm currently not using a green screen but it's still giving me a very good effect placing that background image or video that I'm using and making it look like it's a real background. But the ideal way to uh, put a, an image behind you to have the best effect and probably eliminate some of the shadowing that you're seeing by my head, the, the white here, is to be using a green screen. And if you're not familiar with a green screen, it's uh, basically a green piece of fabric that is used by uh, you know, like say if you're watching the weather on your local TV station and they're probably pointing to different areas on the map showing you like where it's going to rain and stuff, they're just standing in front of this green piece of fabric and then an image is being overlaid by whatever computer program they're using. You can buy that fabric online, you can buy it on like Amazon, I'll actually put a link uh, if you're looking for an example of it. That's going to help you create a slightly better effect. Now in addition to that, the other cool effect you have here is to mirror my video and that's going to just flip the image. So if for some reason you wanted something flipped, you can use that mirror my video option and tick mark that as well. If you do want to remove the background, you can easily do that again by going to choose virtual background, going to the first square, which is none, and that will remove the background. You can also do this at any time during a Zoom meeting. So if you did want to just constantly be changing the background like every minute or every couple of minutes, you can do that and you won't leave the actual meeting that you're in by doing that. So you can mess around with those options if you want. And real quick, in each one of our videos, we hide Tinker, who is our little robot. He pops up somewhere in all of our videos for just a couple of seconds. If you happen to spot him in this video, be sure to be the first person to let me know down in the comments section below, as well as telling me the timestamp of where you saw him for your chance to get your name as well as your YouTube channel if you have one featured in our Tinker Forward Hall of Fame page on our website. Some people have asked, do you need to be uh, paying for an account on Zoom to use these backgrounds? You can have a free account. In fact, I'm using my free account right now to uh, show you this background. And now as promised, I wanna show you guys three different sources that I use to get some of these really cool backgrounds that you can also use uh, as well. So I'm going to flip out of Zoom here real quick and go to my web browser. So the first one is going to be Shutterstock.com and I will leave links to these down in the description below as well. But Shutterstock is going to give you all sorts of different types of images um, so you can search for anything you want like we can do beach and it's going to come up with all sorts of different types of images. So these are going to be really high resolution, high quality images. Now these are going to be for purchase images. However, I want to show you right now on Shutterstock's website, they're, they've got their free one month trial, so you can get some images for free. So if you're interested in using that, uh, that is one website that works really well. Other websites that have some great free stock photos are going to be this one, which is Pexels, P E X E L S dot com. Same thing, you can type something in and search for it, or it comes up with like recent searches. So if we did something like travel, uh, you'll see all different types of images. Uh, it will also give you options here up top where you can choose photos or videos. So if you had a photo here, uh, again, if it was like something in nature and you just wanted a cool background such as this one here I can go to download uh, I'm gonna go ahead and download that image 
once I have it downloaded here, I can go to show in folder, which is going to be my downloads folder, copy that and put that into whatever folder I want. And then when I go back to Zoom, I can actually just locate that in Zoom. So if we jump over here, back to my Zoom, go to my arrow, choose virtual background, go here to like add image, that's locating that Zoom folder on my desktop. I can choose that image and then that is going to pop up down here and now I've got it as a background. You would do the same thing for video, save the video to whatever folder on your computer you want and then go to add video. Uh, that will do the same thing. One other website that I use that I want to show you guys real quick is going to be this last one here which is Pixabay. Pixabay.com is another cool one and you can type in motion backgrounds and this is going to give you all different options here for different cool backgrounds that you can use. Uh, again, some of them are going to be free, some of them you might need to pay for, but it will uh, give you the different options. So as you click on them here, you'll see if it's a free download, and then if it is, you can go ahead and download that background to go ahead and use it, put it in the folder you want, and then reference it in side of zoom so i'm interested to know what are some of your favorite virtual backgrounds that you like using let me know down in the comments section below or where do you get your virtual backgrounds from let me know and let others know as well all right lastly i want to give you guys some troubleshooting tips if this is not working for you guys first off you're going to want to check to make sure that your computer is going to be fast enough um, I can tell you from what I've been reading online, people that are trying to use these virtual backgrounds on Chromebooks, uh, the Chromebooks are just not powerful enough to support the virtual backgrounds. Uh, in addition to that, if you're a student or maybe an employee working for a company and they use Zoom meetings, there is a setting in Zoom where they can actually deactivate your ability to use virtual uh, background. But if you're just trying to do this on your own and you're using your laptop computer or your, your Apple product, um, what I can tell you guys is if you click over to the Zoom website and use the link that is down in the description below, that'll take you to the support Zoom webpage, which shows you here the virtual background requirements. And it does show me here the PC requirements, and you'll have to have a certain version of Zoom. If you are unsure of what processor you might have in your computer, you can go to your task manager. And one of the easiest things to do is go down to your search bar and type in task manager. And then go ahead and click on that. The other thing you can do is you can hold down the buttons on your keyboard, control, uh, shift, and escape. And if you hit those, those will also bring up your task manager. And I noticed that when I did this the first time here, uh, it actually didn't have very many details. But if you click this more details, that will bring up the different things going on on your computer. You're, gonna, gonna, you're going to want to go to performance. And under performance, you'll be able to see what your CPU is that you're running. I'm running an Intel Core i7-8565U and then I can compare that against what the stats are that are needed here to be able to run the virtual backgrounds on Zoom. So in addition to your PC requirements, you're also going to want to make sure that you are running the latest version of Zoom and if you go down to your bar at the bottom and you click over to zoom what you can do is you can go up to your profile here even though it shows me in a meeting and under this information i'll be able to check for updates and you're going to want to make sure that you are up to date using the latest version of zoom if you are not Go ahead and download that latest update and then see if you are able to add the virtual backgrounds. So there you go. I hope this video has helped you uh, create some virtual backgrounds here and kind of spice up using Zoom, making it a little bit more exciting and interesting besides just seeing your regular background of whatever room you're in. My name is Jeff and uh, I do all sorts of tech videos like this on this channel. If you like using Zoom and you're looking for other alternatives for doing video conferencing, 
Uh, I've done another video, which I'll put a link to at the end of this video and down in the description, uh, that talks about other alternatives, such as using Facebook Messenger, Skype, and giving you some tutorials showing you how those video conferencing solutions work as well. So as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to make every day awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. So maybe you don't have a green screen piece of fabric, but you want to do some other cool, crazy effects. Maybe you've got a green shirt. One thing I want to show you here is if you click on the I have a green screen tick mark, uh, it also gives you this option here to manually pick the color of the background uh, if it's detected. And we can click this, and I can actually click on my green shirt. And you'll now notice that this is my green screen. And it's not going to be perfect because it's got shadows. It's not flat. It's just me wearing the shirt. But again, kind of another cool effect of how the green on my shirt is displaying whatever background virtual image I have because that is kind of acting as that green screen.